Okay, welcome back. Tool review today. I finally managed to get a hydraulic spring compressor. I've wanted one of these for years, to be honest, but I didn't want to fork out. I'm a cheapskate Yorkshireman and all that. So I finally got this one. I've been using these combined with these widow makers for I don't know how long now. These are quite good, but they're quite thick and they get in the way. And I'm just not confident. So I've wanted one of these for ages because this is, this is what I used when I was uh, an apprentice. So the brand is uh, Vivo, I think you call it. This is the one ton, uh, ton model. As you can see, it's blue. The blue model is uh, £10 cheaper for some reason than the red one or the yellow one. So pff, I don't care about the colour. Um, quite easy to assemble. The instructions are absolutely useless. Trying to make sense of the instructions is just useless. So I just built this off the picture. And as with any... any uh, any cheap tool, translation is quite poor. Um, for instance, using the handle can complete the shock absorber assembly and spring according to relax and compression. As long as person operation, five to 10 minutes can tear open the shock absorber. So I guess that's saying that you, <laughs> you can do it within five to 10 minutes. Um, this did arrive with a little bit of paint damage. So I'll just touch that up. I'm not gonna complain. This was £100 delivered. £100 delivered. That is absolutely ridiculously cheap. So I'll see if it's any good. I'm going to compress a new spring now and we'll show you it in operation. I forgot to mention as well, you get two bigger cup sizes. So I've got smaller ones on at the moment and you get some bigger ones as well for wider springs. You're supposed to get like a chain. So you can see there, a little safety chain. And the idea is that when you're compressing the spring, you wrap the chain around the spring as an extra safety precaution in case this was to fly off or something. They haven't sent that, so I'll have to uh, get another spring, uh, chain even. Right, so I've got the uh, spring in the compressor. Um, so I've left a gap there as you possibly would, um, just so you can get the shocker in. So you can adjust this so that you can have it there so you've got less travel. Um, so this is a, a, a brand new spring off a Corsa D. So a typical run of the mill car, you know, not a big car at all. So uh, let's give it a go and uh, hopefully it doesn't all go wrong and damage the Astra. So you've got a big pedal on the right, just pump. And one thing I'm noticing is that the uh, the jack feels quite loose. Doesn't feel like there's much resistance, but I guess it's not really compressing anything really. So, you know, that could be normal. I think I will uh, adjust this down the uh, hole or two, just so I'm not compressing as far. And again, I'm gonna go on that one there. Um, as you would leave room, you would leave room there to put your uh, top mount in. So I'm gonna go, uh, gonna go on that one there. I think. Now looking at this, uh, this spring and fitting it in this cup, I'm not sure if I should be using this big one instead because that just looks overkill. Look at the size of it. That's huge. But this just looks ever so slightly too small. So uh, let's just keep going. Let's just see if it'll catch it. So as you can see, that's compressing just fine, is that now? 
and it feels quite sturdy as well to tell you the truth doesn't feel like it's going to fling off at any point yeah look so we've nearly reached the end of its uh its travel now so i think i will move this down a bracket or two but you get the idea and then there's a pedal just on the left to release it and the release pedal doesn't work so hopefully you can see that but i'm basically having to push down on the uh on this part of the unit and hold the pedal down to release it so maybe that could just be air in the uh, bottle jack i don't know maybe i'll try uh bleed air from the system and see if that makes any difference because that's not great but having said that it is a cheap unit does the job certainly feels uh, certainly feels a lot safer than using the uh the good old widow makers uh, which i have had explode on me before <laughs> these are generally okay but when they start to go like that then you're in trouble um so yeah 100 quid delivered i'll put the link in the uh, description if you've got one of these let me know how you've been getting on with it i've seen one review online with someone saying something snapped or something broke uh, i mean i mean that's <laughs> a little bit worrying but i've gone for the cheaper one ton model We'll see how we go with it. I've got a uh, spring to do on the Corsa and my Corsa, so I'll do that and I'll video that. And then uh, the next couple of springs that I've done, I'll, uh, I'll video it and I'll, I'll let you know how I'm getting on with it. But yeah, that's the uh, the Vivo, or Vevo, I don't know, one ton hydraulic spring compressor. Link in the description. Thanks for watching.